now it's time to learn the two new features which is url generator and the paginator links what they are how they are going to work and all these things in this episode so let's check out these things for that we need to go to the laravel app we have installed which is laravel 5.7 fresh installation it's not exactly fresh because we have done some other features on this app also but now what i have done behind the scene before starting the video if i go to home page i have 10 not 10 i have 100 posts which is uh, you can see here and these posts are inside this database you can probably see that from here these are 100 posts and what I'm going to do now I'm going to use the pagination system to paginate over these posts so that we have limited number of uh, posts on our page so let's go to home controller where I have used this post colon colon all to get all the posts here but now instead of saying all I'm going to say paginate and how many post we want per page let's say just for now it's three only so yes we have we are getting this three post but now we need to use the pagination links to move over the other pages so let's go to the home page and home.blade.php and just after this i will going to say dollar posts arrow links and that's it we need to use this thing this will give you a view of links so if i refresh yes i'm getting all the links so what's new in this paginator links you can see if i go to the upper pages you can see now we have three links on the left and three links on the right on the right and the left of this eighth button you can see we have only three but suppose you don't want to make three you just want only one so how you can do that for that the new feature which is on each side so let's use this function so on each side i want only one so as i go refresh this page you can see we just have one link right and on the left of this current page so this is very useful feature and if you want to uh, maximize it so you can say five you want and boom you can see it's having five on the left five on the right and that's cool but it's not useful usable on the for five it's usable i think it's usable for me on the one so this is good and this is very nice but how this is going to work where is this links and where is this on each side function so for that we need to go to paginate uh, paginator paginator is the file we need to go and this is inside illuminate paginate which is inside the core of the level we don't have to made changes here we just I'm, I'm just going to tell you where these things are coming from it's not magical things <laughs> it's just coming from somewhere obviously so here we need to search for links and yeah here we have the links so that's the same function we are using here this links function which is going to render the view and with some data if we are giving that but where is our on each side to get on each side we need to go to firstly on this render part and then let's click on this view factory so it's on illuminate paginate abstract paginator dot php this is the uh, file abstract paginator and here we will search on each side which is you can see defaulted to three but if we go on this yeah it's now getting the count which we are passing here yeah here one and then it is just setting on each side variable which is public variable uh, to the count you are providing so this is the way this pagination things going to work on the new level 5.7 this is all about the paginator links but what about this url generator it's very very easy you can now create the url just by using the controller and its function so you can see we have this home page 
how we can generate the URL of this home page if we don't know about its uh, route. So uh, let's see here somewhere I am going to create a new route just for showing you. So I am going to create another function uh, here uh, and now I am going to return, I am going to return action and this action includes the firstly the controller name which is our home controller and obviously we need to include it at the top then colon colon class and in the second parameter we need to provide the function which for which we are going to uh, get the URL or the route so the function name is index so let's say index here and that's it and let's check yeah it has to be inside the square brackets so now let's go here and let's go to check and yes you can see the route is ac actually this what if i change the route here so if i change the route to home hyphen page maybe this is the route and now we don't have to care about what is the route because our this uh, where is that yeah uh -huh. This one, this action is going to create the route for us. So if I go refresh, yeah, you can see home hyphen page is there. Now we don't need to use the name. We don't need to use any real route. We can generate the route with action with this action function. But where is this helper situated? Again, you need to click here on the action. And as I told you, it's a helper. So eliminate foundation helper and this is the action which is going to create your url by this kind of functions and you can obviously search on this research on this look at these things and probably get us some cool idea about how laravel is going to work so these are the good features of laravel 5.7 if you have liked these episodes please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification, like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.